The Center for Nonlinear Studies at Los Alamos National Laboratory was founded in 1980. It's based on a very proud tradition of interdisciplinary science, uh, going back to the Manhattan Project uh, in the early days uh, of the laboratory. Uh, several of the key founding ideas uh, for CNLS was the Fermi Pasta Ulam problem uh, that was computed on the early supercomputers at Los Alamos in the mid 1950s set the stage for the, many of the discoveries in nonlinear science. The CLS really works uh, first as a catalyzer of uh, interdisciplinary work, but also as an incubator of interdisciplinary things. CNLS focuses on a wide range of problems that are important to the laboratory and, and um, important to the nation. And, and the way they address that is by bringing in postdocs and students, young scientists, who then can collaborate with more experienced scientists at the laboratory and the diversity of the talent, mainly in terms of the disciplines, whether it be physics, applied math, computer science, optimization folks, um, that really allows us to make progress quickly on difficult problems. Quantitative biology has a long history at Los Alamos National Laboratory going back to the Human Genome Project. We built on that. We ran a seven-year conference on quantitative biology, we call it QBio, um, that has really brought attention to this multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary approach uh, to studying hard problems in biology. My work at Los Alamos National Laboratory focuses on leveraging high-performance computing and contributions from chemistry, biology, and computer science to understand, predict, and combat bacterial antibiotic drug resistance. Computational biological physics allows me to investigate proteins and protein interactions at the scale of individual atoms up to multi-protein complexes. Um, this allows me to understand and, and tackle problems at multiple scales. Smart grid science, we just call it grid science, is really focused on developing new techniques to integrate new resources into our energy system, whether they be stochastic resources like wind or PV, photovoltaic generation, and we're looking for new methods to analyze how those interact with the grid and how to control them. In the area of material science, we've looked at the strength of materials, their susceptibility to radiation damage so that we can improve materials in energy producing facilities. We've looked at the structure of glassy materials, disordered materials, and how some of those concepts can be used in understanding the mechanisms for earthquakes in nature. In the area of condensed matter physics, through novel computation, able to access new materials, predict new materials, and investigate regimes of quantum behavior uh, that have been inaccessible to simulations in the past. In both nanoscale science and mesoscale science, interdisciplinary research is key. The CNLS Mesoscale Science Frontiers Conference will bring together researchers from all around the world to discuss this important new science area will create a unique venue for encouraging dialogue across the breadth of disciplines now embracing the challenges and opportunities at the mesoscale. The postdocs interact with, with collaborators in technical divisions to create new and interesting science while being tied to laboratory mission scope. They interact with visitors from around the world um, and they participate in conferences where we build scientific communities through participation from national laboratories, from academic institutions, um, and from industry. So uh, one of my focuses as a postdoc at CNLS is the interface between computational science and condensed matter physics. Um, I find CNLS to be a very stimulating environment because there's so many opportunities to work with people in various areas. We're as much about our approach as we are about the topics that we study. We formulate this approach around a central 
core of postdocs. We have 30 to 40 postdocs here at any one time. It's one of the largest concentrations of post scientific postdocs anywhere in the world. Most of my postdocs uh, are sitting at the CNLS, so, and I interact with them on a daily basis, so I come to the CNLS every day, and that also gives me the opportunity of interacting with other postdocs. Something starts, and then the mentors get involved, and, and that is basically the beginning of interdisciplinary work.